All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Very nice to see some familiar names. Really good to have you. Um, a lot of you are new as well, so glad to have you with, with us. Welcome. Um, today, we have a lot of content to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. My name is Quinn Tran, and I am the Program Director for Care Providers Insurance, or CPS as we call it. We're here today to tell you about CPS program, including some of the recent program improvements we've, we think that you're going to be really excited about. Um, before we get started, I just want to go over some housekeeping items. First of all, um, so they say the early bird gets the worm, and that is true in this case because the first 30 agents who registered and are in the webinar today, congratulations, you have just now won a $25 Amazon e-gift card just for registering. Congratulations. Um, Liz from our marketing team is going to email you the link later today. Um, so enjoy. Thanks for having. Thanks for coming. Um, all right, the other thing is you're going to be on mute the entire time. Um, so we make sure that we follow through all the content we have planned for you today. If you have any questions, please utilize the questions box. We are going to spend some time at the end of the webinar to go over some of the Q&A at the end. Um, and the last thing is it is recorded. You are going to get the uh, a recording of this and the slides in a few days after this webinar. Okay, all right, with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into our agenda for today. Um, we are going to start with a quick introduction on our parent company, um, NSM, and how CPS and NSM are related. Um, then I'm gonna cover some of the current trends in the marketplace when it comes to insuring nonprofits. And we're gonna talk through our CPS appetite specifically, some hot classes we're writing and some of the accounts that we won with the agents. Then we'll talk about how you can partner with us and go through the appointment process. Then um, at the end, we're gonna go spend a few minutes on our Q&A sessions. So again, please utilize the questions box anytime during the webinar. Um, Liz from our marketing team is uh, monitoring that. She's done a really good job making sure that we don't miss any of your questions. If we end up not getting to your questions at the end of the session today, we'll reach out to you on separate occasion, okay? With all that said, as, an, as another thank you for joining us today, we are launching a contest um, for agents on the webinar. So the first three agents who sends us a submission and gets bound is going to receive a 250 Visa gift card. So um, with a couple of contingencies, the account must be 15,000 in premium, no broker of record changes, and to qualify, please submit your submission to that email that you're seeing there on the slide. This is also going to be sent to you. So if you can't write it and forget, this will be in the webinar as well. Okay. All right. Good luck. And starting, start sending in those submissions. Okay. So let's do some quick introductions of our CPS leadership team, who are also going to be our speakers for today. That's Julia and Aaron. Um, as I mentioned before, I am the program director for CPS, took over the program for about five months now. Um, it's been really great. Been in the industry for about 17 years, started in the retail agents office, just like yours, doing some sales and marketing, um, then spent some time in personal injury protection claims. That was very interesting as well. Relocated to another state of Illinois um, for an opportunity in commercial underwriting spent a few years at the desk, a few years at the field, doing surveys on various commercial risks and helping our agents grow their book of business. Um, relocated to Texas, where I currently reside now. Um, I led up a startup operation, an underwriting, and then moved over to underwriting operations for the bond side and the financial services side of the business before coming to CPS. Um, we do have team members across all three time zones. Um, including some presence in the Northeast office as well. Happy to be here partnering with you to grow your book of business. And um, I will now let my underwriting team managers introduce themselves. We'll start with you, Erin. Thanks, Quinn. Um, I'm Erin Peterson. Um, really happy to be here. I've seen some familiar faces as the attendees, so it's good to see or 
that you guys wanted to come and hang out with us for a little bit. Um, I've been in the industry for 20 years and with the last 10 or so years, I've been dedicated to nonprofit underwriting, religious organization underwriting. I've been with USLI, Guide One, Philly. Usually I've been on the carrier side um, about three years ago, I took a step into the program side. I've been with NSM for care providers um, for over a year now. I'm in the Philly area, and I work out of our Concha Hawkins, Pennsylvania office um, right outside of Philadelphia. Um, really excited to be here. We have a lot of good things to share with you and um, looking forward to continued growth with, with new partners. All right, so I'm Julia Sewell, and I'm one of the underwriting managers and Aaron's counterpart here at Care Providers. Um, I've been in the industry for 15 years and here at Care Providers for over 12. Um, I started my insurance career out on the retail agency side, um, out all the way in uh, Portland, Oregon, and now I'm on the other side of the country working remotely, remotely out of my home office in Central Florida. I'm really excited to be here with everyone today to share more about our program and how we can help you grow your book in the social service space. So I'll pass it back over to you, Quinn. Awesome. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, so CPS is the best in class program from NSM Insurance Group. But before we go into who we are, um, let me just take a few minutes to spend uh, put in a plug for NSM as our parent company. So you may have already been familiar with NSM or heard of the company or did some, some business with NSM other programs before. So if not, we are the leader when it comes to specialty insurance program. Um, we have there, you can see over 25 specialty programs, um, long-term relationships with thousands of agents across the country, over 22 office locations. Uh, we're doing, we've been doing this for actually 33 years now this month, actually. Um, we started as an insurance broker uh, ourselves way back when. So we can empathize with you, can understand uh, the ins and outs and really help build out your niche market for your book. And so we know how to create those custom programs for you. Um, additionally, and uh, we also have a global footprint um, and also presence in the UK as well. Like I mentioned before, too, um, there are some of our 25 programs. Uh, we That includes business to business and business to consumers. If you work with us and you have a one-off or your client has interest in another area as well as a nonprofit space, we are more than happy to introduce the connection with you and other um, programs within NSM. So for the example, KBK is a market for towing, used car dealers, garages, repair shops, um, and auto salvage yards. Made a lot of connections with KBK in the past. Um, our HAP Pro program is a non-admitted solution for apartments and condos. And then our sister program, ATP, which ensures addictions, treatments, facilities, mental and behavioral health businesses. So feel free to reach out to any of us and learn more about our programs on nsminc.com as well. Would love to have, um, would be more than happy to make you some, some introductions and in getting you to the right place. All right, with that said, let's move our attention to CPS. This is why we're here. Um, I'm extremely proud to share that we've made some recent enhancements to our program, um, but our mission remains the same. At Care Providers, our mission is to be the leading provider for robust insurance, risk management for nonprofit and social services organizations. And um, either Aaron and Julia will talk a little bit about all of that later. We have an unwavering commitment to disciplined and, un and diligent underwriting, comprehensive insurance solutions, top-notch talent that we have, and then unparalleled partnerships with you, um, your agent and broker partners. All right, so we have been in business for over 25 years, and that has a lot of advantages, including some focus, capabilities, staff knowledge, and coverage. We primarily focus <clears throat> on the social services, excuse me. Um, we have an exclusive program just in the social services space. We see this day in and day out, all day, every day, years after year. So we know and see the top classes, we see the trends, 
We're here to carve out that niche and deliver that package for you. Um, as you see in the middle of the screen there, we only partner with A plus rated carriers. And the two carriers that we utilize is Arch and Berkshire Hathaway Guard. We also have some loss controls internally, and then um, some in-house claims teams and presence, which we'll talk about a little bit later too. Our staff knowledge comprises of an average of 15 years tenured and a combined over 100 years of experience within our program. We do have the best in class coverage forms. We've heard it from you. We've got the feedback from the field. We are flexible, so we can carve out some of the areas that we don't want, um, making sure the accounts that you place are profitable. And then obviously training, um, staying on top of emerging topics is what we do best since we, it's all we do. Okay, so enhancements, you're probably wondering what they are. So here are some of them, very proud of that. Um, the first one is we now have dedicated underwriters um, based on geographic territory. We have staffed in all three time zones to answer your questions, be available for you. Um, so you don't have to, to wait two hours or three hours because it's in a different time zone. So that's an advantage that you have. We also have competitive pricing. We now have in-house claims team. More on what that means in a little bit. Um, we have value-added risk management resources, and we'll dive into some of those resources later, and greater commitment to customer service. Um, we're turning quotes around faster than we can. If you give us the need by date, we're going to try absolutely our best to get it to you um, in a reasonable time frame. We also have new training and development program for CPS underwriters and underwriting assistants. It is called the Underwriting Academy. The intent is to develop internal talent and promote from within. Um, and then later in the session, you'll hear from Aaron and Julia um, on the successes and how that's impacted their teams. All right, let's uh, have a new voice to the call and have Aaron talk to us about the improvements on the claims team. Thanks, Quinn. Um, we have Jay Belcher and Wayne King. They lead the claims. Um, well, Jay leads for CPS and Wayne is our actual B2B business to business um, director for all claims for all programs. Um, so Jay has been with CPS for seven plus years, but he has over 30 years experience in the industry. He's created great relationships with our TPA um, as well as our internal underwriting team. We go to Jay for a lot. I think I talked to Jay maybe once or twice a day maybe more than that. Um, he is so beneficial to us when we're reviewing our renewals. Um, he actually really has good relationships with our agency, agency partners too. Um, he's available for conversations, any type of claims info that you may need as well. So Jay is a huge part of CPS. Um, we recently brought in Wayne King. Um, Wayne is the director of our B2B claims um, for all of our programs. Like I said earlier, um, he brings over 20 years experience in the claims uh, department. So lots of cool things um, that we have on the claim side to offer our agency partners. Now I'll flip it to Julia to talk a little bit about our risk management resources. Thanks, Erin. Yeah, so another key differentiator for CPS are our risk management resources. Um, so we have several risk management tools that our agents and insurers can utilize to help them not only reduce claims, but to save money. Um, so one of these tools is access to a large library of loss control videos. So I think there's over 350 videos on there. Um, there's also educational flyers and posters dealing with topics like OSHA compliance, driver training, fleet management and transportation safety, um, preventing slips, trips, and falls, um, property maintenance like fire prevention. Um, there's training courses also available. Um, we also have a helpline service that we have available to all insureds. Um, and it's especially beneficial for small organizations that don't have their own dedicated HR or risk management departments. Um, and they can assist in creating employee handbooks, policies and procedures manuals that keep organizations in compliance with state and federal guidelines. They also have a hotline available for insureds to call 
um, and they can speak with employment law attorneys regarding HR-related topics and employment challenges. The last thing I'll mention on this is we partner with Presidium to offer discounted background checks as well as abuse prevention resources. Um, so now I'll turn it back over to Quinn for a state of the market. Awesome. Thank you, Julia and Erin. Um, okay, so uh, what is social non social services and nonprofit? You are here because your clients are in this space, serving our community all around you. So for you, for you to best service our clients, you kind of need to understand what's going on with it. What are some of the trends that could impact how they shop for insurance and the coverages that they need in this market? So according to the business research company, the social services market is expected to reach over 6.6 billion in revenue in 2027 at a compound um, average growth rate of six and a half. So the industry is growing and it's not going anywhere. Let's take a look at the trends and driving some of this growth. So because because the nonprofit and human services are so diverse, uh, the revenues that go into this sector is driven by a wide array of factors, government funding, public support, charitable donations, any philanthropic work, fundraiser events in the community, etc. Additionally, this sector is very important lifting and supporting a strong community. Okay, so the government contributes a part of their budget to allocate funding for nonprofit every year through grants and other assistance, um, program assistance to make sure we have strong com communities around us. So let's talk a little bit more into the actual top three trends we're seeing. There's, there's a lot of things driving that, but what we're seeing the most um, prevalent are the three. Okay, let's go into the next one. Um, so while COVID-19 may feel like it's a thing in the past, the, the residual impacts of it is still very present today. COVID-19 induced economic disruptions, leaving the global population vulnerable, especially to very low wage workers, our younger employees without or very little experience, and especially women. Rising homelessness, food insecurities, mental health issues, drug abuse is also prevalent in this driving need declining job qualities um, where low wages jobs are with few or no benefits um, now are leaving them to turn to social agencies for help. The second trend that's driving this demand for human services is social care for the aging population. Due to the increased life expectancies, people are living longer and this is changing some things. More adult companionship is needed for programs that we see on a daily basis, such as adult daycares, respite care, senior activity center, they all fall into this category. Um, as this demand rises, there is a bigger need for more employees to accommodate as well. Home health care services trends are shaping the market as well with rising health care costs, as well as care expenses for senior population. Um, and then the higher demand follows that. And lastly, technology is a, is a huge driving factor for this growth. For example, you see religious organizations and the level of outreach is much wider now than ever before. Um, rather than just the local communities, they're extending their services and, and reaching out to other communities for membership um, outside of what is currently within their control. Um, joining forces with those who are with similar missions as well. What I'm referring to is community action agencies with the same purposes are now coming together to help with the larger costs, increasing revenues through multiple fundraisings. This is going to impact how we underwrite various events throughout the year. Another example is schools and Head Start programs. Leveraging technology now, enabling parents to stay connected with their children and teachers throughout the day, streaming videos, classroom activities, photos. So for changes in the industry like this covering those who work with kids, we need to carefully assess how these risks are controlled by these exposures across the industry. So what are all of these trends mean? They are showing us that there is a huge need and demand for social services. Now that is the current market um, let's talk about the now it's time to let's talk about our appetite and what solutions we have to help you accommodate to this rising demand. Um, again, our appetite remains the same. 
we want to have an extremely broad appetite only partners with a plus rated carriers our goal is to help your agent partner put an account in place to win we want to give you a competitive edge competitive product with great service so that you can win the account right, so um, with that said uh, i'm going to pass the baton over to aaron and julia who is going to walk you through the appetite for each of their program that rolls up to their org We'll start with Julia with a guard program. Thanks, Quinn. So before we dive into the appetite, I just want to introduce our team really quickly. Um, so on the guard side, our team consists of 15 underwriters and UAs that are broken out into three different territories, East, Central, and West. So as Quinn mentioned earlier, you'll be working with someone in your time zone or the next time zone over. So we really have a great team of experts in the social service and nonprofit space. Um, for those of you on the call that uh, work with us currently or have worked with us in the past, you may notice some familiar faces um, of some of our long-tenured underwriters. So I'll just call out a few. Um, Lenny Vale is in our, our Dallas office, and she's worked with CPS for over 30 years, um, actually since before NSM acquired um, the Care Providers Program. Uh, Tanya Dillard is a, another underwriter that sits in our Dallas office, and she's been here for over 16 years. Uh, and Kevin Cornell is one of our experts up in the PA office, and he's been here for over five years. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to our UA team as well that helped provide us with excellent customer service and really help keep the business moving. Um, we also pride ourselves on training our team and promoting from within. So I did wanna recognize two recently promoted underwriters on the guard side, um, Christian Cracciolo and Leah Smith. So now we'll get into the appetite. So on the guard side, um, our appetite is extremely broad. Um, so I've only included a few classes of business on this slide, um, but we do write a lot more than what's shown here. Um, so we write social service organizations, both for-profit and non-for-profit. And as long as they give back to the community in some way, it could be a fit for our program. So I like to break it out in two branches, our youth services and our adult services. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, youth services uh, can encompass anything from Head Start organizations, Big Brothers Big Sisters Youth Mentoring, uh, before and after school programs, children's homes, and others. Um, in our adult services, I'll just touch on a few classes. So we write uh, community action agencies. Um, these are typically larger organizations, write many different programs. That they offer. We write shelters, so both homeless and emergency women's shelters. Uh, we write senior day services. So we don't write any residential programs for seniors, but we do day services like Meals on Wheels programs, councils on aging, adult daycare, and senior activity centers. Uh, we write a lot of home health and hospice organizations, which are typically companion care with limited skilled nursing. Uh, IDD, uh, Organizations are huge for us, and we'll go into a little bit more detail in later slides. A uh, Couple more, animal welfare. Many other carriers are getting out of this class. We very much still write it. Um, we do underwrite it carefully, and we focus on domesticated household pets and non-aggressive dog breeds in this class. And then the last one I'll touch on is museums. We write smaller cultural museums and children's museums. So our minimum premium, um, on the guard side is 2,500, which is lower than many of our competitors that I've heard recently have increased their minimums to 5,000 or in some cases 10,000. So we're, we're very competitive in this space still. Uh, so now I'll pass it uh, over to Erin to talk about the ARCH program. Thanks, Julia. Um, as Julia went through the guard side and her team, um, a little bit of the ARCH side, which we'll get into later, is ARCH, we write three classes with ARCH, um, churches, schools, and pregnancy centers. So the remainder is, sits, the broad appetite is with guard, which Julia just um, spoke about. So our team's a little bit smaller. Um, we have four underwriters and three UAs at this point. Um, Brandon Schwartz was just recently promoted to um, underwriter from being a UA. He was with us for about three years and we recognized you know, his knowledge and his will to learn and wanting to become an underwriter and we put him in the Underwriting Academy. 
um, which Quinn had talked about a little bit earlier, and he did fantastic. So Brandon, a call out there for him, for him and his hard work. Um, Ruth is newer to our organization. She's done a great job. She has 20 years experience in the industry. Um, David and Amber, Margo, unbelievable. Um, they have been, I think Margo's been with um, CPS for over 10 years, and David and Amber are top-notch underwriters have been with us five or six plus years. So Ali Costa, Dennis, they are tremendous UAs who provide excellent customer service to our agency partners. So a little bit, like I said, on with um, ARCH, our classes of business are, are three classes, very straightforward. Pregnancy centers, um, pregnancy centers, which we'll get into all three of these classes a little bit later in detail. Pregnancy centers can consist of STD testing, um, ultrasound tech, um, per, you know, providing ultrasounds, um, counseling, um, any woman that is having trouble with what to do with her pregnancy, that type of counseling. So these are booming. These are coming in left and right. We have a couple of agencies that actually this is all they write and this is what they specialize in and it's produced a lot of a lot of premium for them and for us um, churches will write any type of religious organization church synagogue mosques um, so competitive in this space and again we'll get into it um, a little bit later but submissions are flowing in a lot of carriers in this space are exiting certain geographical areas um, reducing limits and we've with Arch, our great carrier partner, have remained calm and in the space. And we haven't made a lot of changes. And then schools. So we'll write private schools, higher ed, charter schools. So anything K through 8, K through 12. Um, what we won't do is public schools. But again, we are very competitive in this space too, um, as far as the big players. Um, we offer all the coverages that any one of our competitors offers as well. So talking about Arch and Guard, um, we have similar coverage offerings. So to get a little bit into detail is, you know, liability, both carriers were offering one, one three. Um, we do not offer the two four, but we are very willing to offer an umbrella um, to cover those additional limits that um, insureds may need. Professional, we have professional liability that is catered, catered to each class. So on the guard side with the broad social service appetite that we have, we have our nonprofit package, you know, professional liability form, which is comparable to your guide ones, to your Philadelphia's. Um, on the arch side, we have pastoral counseling for church and we have educators legal for, for schools. So we really cater to, you know, those professional liability needs for each in short. Sexual misconduct, hot topic, right? It's, you know, do you cover it? How, what are the limits? Um, we can offer it occurrence or claims made, and we write one three on the underlying. Now there are some things that have changed um, with guard and arch on that. Um, typically, we can write up to five million on the arch side for those three classes for the with the abuse included. Guard has pulled back a little bit, and we're sublimiting. Um, to either one or two million. We've seen this across the board um, with other carriers, especially Philadelphia, Guide One, um, Church Mutual. So we've been able to stay in that space and be able to be competitive with coverages. Auto, we will write 15 passenger vans. We schools will write the buses, um, vans, um, very competitive in this space. And um, umbrella, like I said, the five million available for um, for both for both um, carriers we use. Property, very competitive there. There's really no limit in TIV. Um, you can bring us a submission with large, you know, scheduled TIV. We will look at it very carefully um, and we will make the decision if it's, you know, with the carrier, if it makes sense for us. Uh, typically, we want to stay a little bit lower TIV and a smaller premium in the program space. You know, million dollar accounts are not typically what we're looking for in our program. Um, but again, we can look at accounts carefully with you um, and with our carrier. We have an extensive coverage um, 
property enhancement as well as GL enhancement for all of our products for, with Guard and Arch. We also have um, additional carriers that we work with um, where we can offer EPLI and DNO. We have Chubb um, and we have Great American. We can offer um, cyber liability and we offer um, accident and health with Crumb Forester and we offer win buyback as well um, in those areas that's needed. Okay, so ineligible risks, um, we want our agency partners to know what we don't want. We don't want to waste your time, we don't waste our time. Um, I hate talking about business that we don't want, but you know, just looking at these ineligible risks are this big compared to our big robust um, product offering. So traditional daycares, we're just, we just never have done well. Um, we want to say whether it's Head Start programs that are licensed with the with the state as a head start or K through 12 schools. So traditional daycare centers will be out. Like Julia said earlier, um, assisted living for seniors, we do not want to get into that space. Um, public trans, if a company is 100% transportation, uh, we are not interested. If there's transportation part of an organization, they offer transportation to their clients, that's perfectly fine. But any outside transportation or 100% transportation risks, we're not interested. Um, any Habitat for Humanity organizations, Boy Scouts organizations, um, addiction treatment, mental health, that is with our sister program. They do that better um, with their carrier and they're the experts there. And we are not interested in goodwills. So a couple other things. Pregnancy centers, churches, and schools, Arch does not want to write in the five boroughs of New York. Um, so we have, that's been a parameter for quite some time, and we don't offer standalone camp operations. If a camp um, exposure is part of a church, part of a school, and it's a minimal operation, we will take a look at that, but no standalone. Okay, workers' comp. So we have a sister um, program called All Comp Solutions. They have a ton of carriers that they work with. They actually have the pen with a couple of those carriers. They have tons of um, a broad, broad appetite. So they write a ton of workers' comp. I know some um, agents on this may have worked with them in the past. Um, great team, and again, a lot of solutions that they have. If you send in a submission to us, you know, and the workers' comp is included in the full submission for the package, we will get it over to all comp. We also can provide you with all comp um, mailbox, uh, like their mailbox where you can send submissions directly to. And then for our Texas agents, um, we have partnered with Texas Mutual for, for a long time. And Texas nonprofit organizations and churches, religious organizations, can partner um, with Texas Mutual through us and save 12% on their workers' comp premium. They also are eligible to earn additional dividends when they join these safety groups. We have a lot of marketing material that we've, we've just created and really promoting this. Um, so if anybody has any questions on the back end, please ask them and we can send you those marketing materials and we can be point people for any additional questions. Okay, so now that you have a big picture and understanding of our classes, um, let's focus on the hot classes um, where we're doing really well and we'll share some success stories with each. All right, so I'll start off with the hot classes. Um, so IDD and group homes is the first class that we'll go over. I mentioned this on a previous slide. Um, so the acronym IDD stands for Intellectually or Developmentally Disabled. Uh, and we offer coverage for organizations that provide varying levels of care, so daytime services all the way up to 24-hour care. Uh, daytime services can include vocational training to help clients learn a specific trade, uh, job and employment assistance, to help clients build resumes, interview preparation, help them find a job. Um, re residential services is a larger bulk of what we write. Um, we write a, a ton of group homes. Um, these typically are smaller group homes with five to 10 beds. Um, and we also write respite type of care, so like adult daycare for the IDD community. So let's flip over to a success story. 
So this is a smaller IDD group home based in California, and it was a new venture. Um, so for new ventures, we do require a resume of the director showing they have adequate experience. We like to see 10 plus years of experience in the field, um, as well as a pro forma budget. Uh, this particular account happened to have all ambulatory clients, so they're not wheelchair bound, um, but we can consider homes with non-ambulatory clients as well. It just must be an incidental exposure. Uh, this account also um, purchased property from us, so they automatically got our property enhancement endorsement, which provides them with earthquake coverage, 25,000 in earthquake, um, which was you know, great because they're out in California with that uh, huge exposure out there. Our enhancement also provides 25,000 in flood coverage, so um, that's something that help, can help in other states where flood is more of an issue. So the key to writing this account was that most carriers won't consider new ventures where we will, and we were able to turn this around pretty quickly in a couple days. So our next talk class that I'll get into is ABA therapy. So ABA stands for Applied Behavior Analysis Therapy, um, and it's for children with autism spectrum disorders and other cognitive conditions. Um, so it's therapy that focuses on improving behaviors like social skills, communication, reading and academics, um, as well as adaptive learning skills like fine motor dexterity, uh, hygiene, grooming, and punctuality. <laughs> So these are all day programs, um, and mostly they're, they're provided in home, in the client's homes or at their school. Um, and some insurers do have their own facility and clients uh, come in to, to get the therapy. Uh, so these are true therapy programs, and they don't fall under schools. However, we do write special needs schools as well on the guard side. <clears throat> now let's get into a success story. So this is a medium-sized ABA program that provides therapy at the client's homes or at their school. Um, they did not have a facility where they conducted business, so um, we didn't have any property coverage. But I did want to note they are located in South Florida. We can write property in South Florida. We just would be ex-wind. Um, one of their key coverages that they needed were, was hired an unowned auto, as their therapists are using their own vehicle to travel to and from the job sites um, to the client's homes and to the schools. Uh, another coverage uh, that they purchased was an umbrella, which includes professional abuse, which is important as some carriers will not uh, include abuse under the umbrella due to the youth exposure. So the key to writing this was that we were able to deliver um, the coverage that they needed, um, the strong coverages, coverage forms, we offer them 1 million, 3 million limits for GLPL abuse, all on occurrence, um, where other carriers were only willing to offer them claims made. Um, we also added two new coverages that they didn't have previously. So we added employee benefits and that $1 million umbrella, and all four close to what they were paying with uh, their current carrier. Let's move on to a head start. This is another uh, huge class for us. Um, so Head Start, uh, they're essentially daycare learning centers for low-income families. Um, they are typically run by local nonprofit organizations, community action agencies, or school districts. And um, they also help link children and families to other services in the community, like free medical and dental care services. Now let's take a look at the success story. <clears throat> So this was a pretty large um, Head Start organization. It was part of a community action organization, and um, they had a larger auto fleet that they transported the children to and from their facilities. Um, we offered symbol one auto coverage, meaning it covers all their autos, not only those that are scheduled on the policy. Um, their auto also included our enhancement endorsement, um, which provides a number of great coverages, a couple of the key coverages on there is blanket additional insured with primary non-contributory, um, towing and rental reimbursement. Um, we offered professional abuse, which has its own dedicated limits um, and defense outside, which is important for them. And they needed a, a larger limit for the umbrella, so we were able to offer them five million with professional up to the full limit. Um, 
some other carriers are sublimiting for the professional on these higher limit umbrellas, and we were able to uh, offer the full limit. We do require, as Erin mentioned earlier, um, we sublimit our abuse to one million for accounts with um, that use exposure. So the key to writing this, um, the key to success, was this account was being non-renewed by their prior program due to losses. Um, they had some auto losses and one large property win hell loss. So the insured implemented appropriate corrective action um, and apply, we applied a win hell deductible, so we were able to, to take it on. Um, so that's it for the guard side. Now I'll turn it over to Erin to talk about the remaining hot classes on the arch side. Thanks, Julia. Um, so pretty straightforward with the ARCH classes as far as private and charter schools, um, K through 8, K through 12. Um, we offer um, educators legal, like I had mentioned before, which is protecting the teachers, um, the principals, and the staff that are working with children in a professional um, manner. Um, again, our umbrella is is available up to five million and we can write the abuse up to that limit too. We are looking more detail to see what type of abuse policies and procedures that each organization has. So that would be something that we would look into and request with a submission to give us a handbook or any type of training that the employees have and how often that, that training happens. Um, armed guards, that's a big thing with with our schools and with our churches is armed guards. It's ineligible if the armed guard is an off-duty police officer or just a um, somebody who works, an employee just is armed. The armed guard and armed security has to be contracted with $5 million limits of GL um, for us to um, write a school or a church. So just to keep that in mind, because we are seeing that um, a lot more with the armed security at these type of facilities. Um, again, we have the ability to write the DNO and the EPLI with um, other carriers. Um, we use Great American for um, our schools and for our churches. So now we'll go into a success story. So this is a great one. Um, it's a K through eight private school in Texas, um, tier one um, area in Texas. It has 150 million or 150 students, 10 million in TIV. So this was also a referral to the carrier. While we have the pen and we have the underwriting authority, there are some accounts that we do have to refer to the carrier. Um, so we referred this. They had four transit vans. Um, so we referred it. Quick turnaround. The good part about this was we have a really good key agency partner with another one of our programs, KBK, and they came to someone in KBK and asked if we would take a look at this school. The school didn't have the appropriate coverages um, that, you know, when we took a look, they didn't have professional, they didn't have a high limit of abuse. So we turned the quote around, we got, we referred it to our carrier, got the quote back, turned it around, and we um, were able to get the agency appointed with CPS, which was a quicker turnaround because they were already an agency appointed with another program, but um, really good service with this one and just having those agency partners with other programs helped to secure this. 58,000 um, and we wrote it with a 5% wind how deductible on non-admitted paper as well. So our next hot class, really hot, are churches. Like I said earlier, um, a lot of carriers are making changes, they're increasing rates, they're reducing coverages, and they're getting out of geographical locations. Well, with Arch, we have not made any crazy changes. Um, we've, are, we're staying in certain geographical locations, but we're making some changes within that to be more competitive, to raise our rates, and be able to write the business instead of exiting it. Again, we have professional catered to these type of organizations, pastoral counseling liability. Um, we can offer a lot of our churches we see hired and non-owned, or they have church vans, and we can offer that. We can cover them as well. Um, we have our property enhancement, which is huge, um, very comparable to the other um, carriers in this space. We offer earthquake, like Julia had said before. Um, we offer some EDP, property of others. 
um, our GL enhancement, uh, blanket additional insured. It's awesome. It alleviates a lot of work with on your side. You can just issue certificates. We don't have to create an endorsement, send you the endorsement, and wait on anything. So it's the blanket is beneficial to um, our whole program. So let's get into a success story. So this was a church with a parsonage where our um, two clergy lived and a Sunday school. So 150 congregants, um, 40 Sunday school students, 4 million in TIV, hired an on auto, and a 3 million umbrella, which included the abuse. Premium was 35,000. Key to this was, again, a geographical change with the, with the carrier who was not renewing. We were able to apply a 5% wind how deductible and um, and write the risk on non-emitted paper. So in certain areas, we've gone non-emitted as well. Um, but again, we're staying in those areas and we're we're being competitive in that way. So 35,000, as you can see, the pricing was pretty competitive there as well. Um, church had clean loss history, which was even better since it was being non-renewed um, with the management team focused on risk management. Okay, so our last um, class is pregnancy centers. A lot of agencies focus, a couple of agencies that we work with focus on pregnancy centers and pregnancy centers only. Um, some of them are smaller premium. On average, I'm seeing about 5,000 for this year. Um, again, abuse and molestation, professional. So you could have a nurse, um, you could have an ultrasound tech who's doing ultrasounds all day. So that professional liability coverage covers those type of professionals. Sometimes you'll see a doctor who's a volunteer um, who will have, we will mandate or require that they have their own um, med mail. These pregnancy centers provide um, STD testing, counseling, and again, we have the property enhancement, the GL enhancement. So very, very robust, comprehensive coverage for these type of centers. So the success story that I like to share on a um, pregnancy center, this was in Branson, Missouri. And as you see, the premium is 15,000. Like I said earlier, 5,000, 6,000 is that average premium. This one is a little bit meatier. So you can see there's 3 million in TIV, um, hired and on auto, Mostly these pregnancy centers do not have owned autos. Um, they may, but usually it's just the hired and non-owned exposure. Offered a two million umbrella with abuse included. Um, the pregnancy center offered STD screening, ultrasound tech um, providing ultrasounds, and I think they did some counseling as well. So the key to success with this was our quick service and comprehensive product. This is an agent that we work with um, on a lot of pregnancy centers, and they brought this one to us from another carrier. They like our product and wanted to put it with us. We turned it around, um, and within the work week, we had a bind order. Okay, so hopefully you got some insight on our recent successes and our hot classes. Um, and then I'm going to turn it over to Quinn to talk about partnering with us. Awesome. That was great. Thank you, Julia and Erin, for the quick rundown, um, actually very thorough rundown of what goes into ARCH and what goes into GARD. I, it doesn't matter how long I look at this, I learn something every day, just every time I look at this. So thank you for that. Um, now that you know the ins and outs of our program, you probably are wondering, how can I partner with you? All right, I'll tell you how. The process is very, actually very simple. Uh, if your agency is focused on growing in this space and we have your commitment, we are here to deliver. We need agents with a portfolio of social services and religious organizations, business like yours. Uh, we only work with retail agents like you, prioritize you guys first. Um, we want to partner, and, partner to be committed and growing together, our book and your book. Um, we need to have agents who has entrepreneurial drive. And then lastly, just a financial, um, commitment of $150,000 in premium bound the first 12 months. All right, 
So hopefully you're going through, um, I'm going to say Rolodex, that kind of predates me. We don't use that anymore, but your list of contacts and um, finding out which submissions you want to send to us. You do that. I want to call out our ongoing submissions email box, which is the second one you're seeing on the slide right there. It is cps-submissions at nsminc.com. That's an ongoing, always there, always available. Someone is looking at, at that mailbox all the time. Um, so please send in your submissions through there. The one at the top, wanna to put that up there for a reminder again, is a part of the contest submissions. That's for the first three agents who sends in, in um, a submission to us with a minimum of $15,000 um, in premium. And we bind through that mailbox right there you're gonna get a $250 skip card. So um, on your submissions, we just ask that you include some things for us, the Accord applications, the five-year current loss history, expiring premium by line and target pricing. Your supplemental applications, they can be found on our website per class. Um, and then we ask that you provide us at least 30 days lead time in advance of the effective date. Um, your submissions will go through that mailbox. It takes about 24 hours for the intake process to be logged in and assigned to an underwriter. Then they can review it. If there is any missing information, we'll have some time to reach out to you to get that from the insured, et cetera. If you come too close to that, probably going to not underwrite that um, fully in, in what we want. So we ask that you give us at least 30 plus days in advance for that. And then, like Julie had mentioned before, we are probably one of the few ones that write new ventures. And all we require on this is resumes of the director and pro forma budget. Want to call out that green box right there, too. We are probably the only program who can also quote prior to your appointment. So, again, like I said, take we, we make it very simple and easy for you. Um, all right, how are we looking with time? It's good. Um, we are now going into the Q and A session. Is that include uh, concludes our content part of um, the webinar? So uh, Liz from our marketing team is going to serve as our moderator. Um, she's going to share some questions with us you've been utilizing through the questions box. If you haven't already, please type in any questions you have. Um, there's a box there. We'll go again. We'll spend our time going through as many as we can. I know we're nearing the end here. If we don't get to it. We'll follow up with an email to address your questions. Okay. All right. With that said, uh, Liz, what do we have? Yeah, thanks, Quinn. So we do have a couple questions that came in and we'll work through as many as we can um, up until our three o'clock um, ending time. So our first one, we have two questions that came in from an agent named Keck. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. First question is, do you have discounted MVR partners? Great question. Uh, Julia, would you like to take that, please? Sure. Um, so we, we don't technically have discounted MVR, um, but we do run MVRs on all accounts. Um, and we can share that information with you with, um, you know, some waiver signed uh, from the, the client. Um, but yes, we do run MVRs on our own on all of our accounts. Great. We had a few questions come in about minimum premiums, especially for Arch. I think there were a few mentioned already, but if you could review um, minimum premiums for Arch and Guard, and then maybe also talk about your average account size, that might be helpful for folks too. Okay, do you want me to, I'll start with Arch. Um, so with our three classes, church, pregnancy centers, and um, schools, we only have a minimum premium requirement for churches, which is 15,000. Um, we do one of, you know, for pregnancy centers, we will stay around the 2,500, but we'll, we will write any size at that, at this point. Um, and then average premium on the arch side is about 30,000 right now. Um, in June, in, in June, we saw a little, you know, tick down because of pregnancy centers, there's a lot of 630 X dates. So 
um, we've kind of stayed steady around the 2830 um, average premium and that's all in all account um, whether it's um, it's umbrella auto and package together great uh, next we had one or two questions about the sexual abuse and molestation coverage um, one person asked can we request that SAM for a $2 million dollar sublimit versus one million dollars if that is what's preferred Julia, you want to take that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, for all youth organizations, we are going, the limit, the max that we can offer is $1 million under the umbrella. We do have uh, some accounts that don't offer youth uh, and abuse exposure. Um, we can offer up to $2 million, but it's on select accounts. So we would have to um, discuss that with you on an account by account basis. Um, and then on the ARCH side, Erin, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't believe you have the same restrictions. You can go up to the, the full five million on abuse yes. on churches, schools, and pregnancy centers. Yes, correct. Great. Um, two more questions that I think we can get to before we need to wrap. Uh, I think this in, is in regard to schools. Uh, do you offer any specific active shooter coverage? Um, at this point, no. Um, I don't know if on our website we have any active shooter. I would have to look um, to see with you know our other risk management tools if there was anything there. I know Arch was looking into um, something like this and I can touch base with them but at this point I would say we we do not got it uh, and last question for today will you quote off another carrier's supplemental yes we will on both sides um, we will quote off another um, competitor supplemental if there's additional questions we we may ask that are not that you know that we need that questions are not on ours um, but at binding we will request that we get ours some exceptions are made but we, we typically want ours at binding yeah I'll just add that it does have to be a new business supplemental um, we can't quote off the renewal because usually the renewal is a one-page quick um, update of exposure so we do need that to be new business all right i think that wraps up our q a why don't you bring us home quinn awesome thanks liz all right there's our contact uh thank you so much everyone for taking your time out of the day to spend with our team we're so ready to serve you um so excited for the program improvements we shared with you about ready to build your successful book of business uh, our contact is there. If you have any questions or you want to talk through a submission, feel free to reach out to any of us before sending it in if you would like. Um, and then last reminder, uh, we do have the contest going on. We are tracking it through the top email link right there. And then on any other ongoing submissions, please send it to the bottom um, cps-submissions at nsminc.com. You want to get that $250 Visa gift card for the contest. So we're ready for you. Um, this webinar has been recorded and we are going to be sending out a link to you along with the deck here. So probably sometime in the next week or so, our marketing team is very quick to get on that. You're also going to receive an email survey at the end of this uh, for your feedback. What do you want to hear from us? What don't you want to hear? What do you want to hear more of? So please share us um, your suggestions and your feedback. Again, thank you for, for everything and uh, glad you are with us and have a great rest of your day.